Hello everyone, this is John Cope from Cope Racing Transmissions and uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to go over and give you instructions on how to install the 727 Bolton Sprag. Um, uh, we're going to use our, our drag sprag which is a 16 element roller sprag but a 12 roller sprag installation will be done the exact same way. Alright, this is our our Cope Racing Transmissions um, 16 element Bolton Sprag and we nicknamed it the Drag Sprag but the Drag Sprag or the 16 roller Bolton Sprag, call it whatever can be used in, in any application it's not just for racing as you may know, they're the Chrysler 727 spring and rollers, which are these right here, the springs and the rollers, from the factory came with 12. And the Bolton Sprague, or the, I mean the Sprague for a 727 always seemed to be a weak spot. Um, so this is going to strengthen that weak spot by adding um, four more rollers to 16. So when you buy my Volt and Sprag, the 16 roller or the regular one, you're, you're going to get what you see here. You're going to get, on, on this one we're just going to talk about the drag Sprag. You're going to have a brand new outer, an outer cam, that uh, machine from brand new metal. But everything you see here is going to include the outer cam, the spring and rollers, and the inner race. The inner race is a factory 727 piece that we machine to fit. So there will be a $25 core on this inner race, um, which is fully refundable. If you have more of these, we will buy them from you. Also, if you have, if you remove the outer cam, which is this piece right here, from your case from your 727, we will purchase those also. Um, included with the Sprag, you're going to get four quarter inch bolts, four quarter inch washers, and four quarter inch ferrules. And I will, uh, you're only going to need, uh, what size is this thing? This is a 3 16 um, Allen drive socket, uh, 3 8 ratchet, and you're going to need some some adding seats. So, but before we get started, I want to show you guys, give you a little tip on what you can do to the case. This is a little tip of what you can do to improve the lubrication on your 727 cases. If you guys done enough cases, you see sometimes that the sprag race will eat into the case and then gouge it um, to the point where it's not being used. If you drill a little lube hole here, and I'll show you when I turn this case around, um, this comes off the rear cooling line and that will spray. This is right where the race is going to ride. That will give the race a coat of oil at all times and it will prevent the, the sprag race from eating the cam, or eat, I'm sorry, eating up the case. This is the rear of the case, and you're going to want to drill a sixteenth hole right here, and I'll give you the measurement on it, but the easiest way to do it, I never measure it, you're going to see that this, this is a lower part of the case, and then it comes up a little bit. Right at the very top of that ramp is where I drill it. And then that's exactly where it needs to be to spray the, the race. And this will save your, your case from uh, getting chewed up. So that's just a little tip. I do that on all 727s and 904s. And um, something that I recommend that you do before you put the bolt and sprag in. All right, guys. So this is this is how um, we're going to go through the procedure, 
installing a, a bolt-in sprag in your 727. Um, this is for the 1966 and up 727s. So um, I showed you the lube hole. It was a, a 16th drill bit. Drill that first and then you, you're going to want to make sure that you remove the sprag, which in this case the sprag is all the way removed. To remove the sprag, there's a little, there's a set screw right here and you're going to loosen that set screw and then you're simply just going to take a, a punch that fits through the holes here and here and you're just going to tap it, give it two taps in the bottom two taps on the front, on the top, two taps until the, the outer sprag race comes out of the case. Then um, you want to make sure that you clean it very thoroughly. You want to make sure that um, the inside of the case where the sprag is going to ride. Sometimes um, it will be good to take a little scotch bright and just polish this so this is a nice flat surface where the, your new bolted sprag race, the inner race, is going to ride. And now that we put this lubrication hole here, that, um, that's going to ride on a, on, a, on a coat of oil. So um, make sure you do that upgrade. So real quick, just to go over it real, real quick, we're going to install our new 16 roller um, bolted sprag. We nicknamed it the Drag Sprag. It's a pretty cool name. It's, but it's it's not just for drag racing. You you guys can use this in a stock application. It doesn't matter if it's a, a three T two barrel or a four forty motorhome or a four wheel drive off road or, or anything. Once you upgrade the um, the Sprag, that doesn't become a weak point anymore. And we all know that seven twenty sevens the Sprags. A little bit of a weak point. Um, what we did is we we went to a a 16 roller. So there's there's 16 rollers in here instead of the factory 12. So that's more holding power. And the Sprag, um, which is a one-way clutch, depending what what you call it, it it free wheels in one direction and then locks in the other. So when a torque flight is in first gear, this sprag is in the, the can is, is in the locked position, so it's locked. And then in second gear, third gear, um, 518 overdrive and reverse, this freewheels. So the only time the sprag is applied or locked is in first gear, and that's why a lot of times. Um, you get instructions with our valve bodies that tell you if you're in a burnout box to make sure that you do your burnouts in second to third gear and come out of the burnout box um, just to, just a little protection, a little safety to help the sprag because in second gear and third gear the sprag's not applied. You can't break it in second or third gear. It, it can only break in first gear. Um, a lot of times you guys know that the sprags, um, when they fail, the transmission will explode, but that only happens when you run a stock drum. If, if you're running a, a billet drum, that possibility is, is over. So the, the, all, the, the low band apply is a big, big help. All our valve bodies are low band apply. The bolt and sprag is, is a big help. And then having a 16 roller bolt and sprag is even a bigger help. But the end result is you you have to put a billet drum in there if you want complete safety of the transmission exploding. So I'm just putting that out there real quick. So when you get a bolt and sprag from CRT, it's going to come like this. You're going to get the four bolts, the, um, the four washers, and the four brass spacers. And we'll go ahead and um, we'll get these instructions going. So you, you can take your trans gel or if you want, you can use Vaseline or anything. What I like to do is I will also light this up a little bit and get my little spacer here. Hopefully you guys can see this. 
I turn the camera down a little bit so it focuses on the sprag and not me. So I'm hoping you guys can see this real good. So the case has already been cleaned. I already pre-drilled it um, for the lube and then I'm going to, I already scotch bright it so it's nice and smooth. Um, this is really not necessary, but I've always, from day one, because my dad did it, so I do it. I, I always take some lube, and I, I go around, and I just get it nice and uh, lubed up in there. Just because um, when we ship transmissions, we don't like shipping them dry. So, and also sometimes you can see it squish out of there when it goes flat. So. Go ahead and, and um, put some trans gel in there or Vaseline, whatever you want. You can even use transmission fluid. Then what I do is I take the case, I flip it up, and we're gonna take the four bolts and we're gonna put just the washers on the bolts. Not the ferrules, the brass ferrules, just the washers. And then, the reason why I like to lube up the, um, the threads, I put hundreds and hundreds of bolt-in sprags, and every once in a while, I will get a thread or a bolt that just is fighting me, and it ends up galling or almost stripping, not on the way in, but on the way out. So if you guys just put some anti-seize on the bolts, um, that will help save the threads of the bolt and of the sprag. So just go ahead and lube it up with that. And you got them all in four or in the case. Hopefully this will stay in focus. Um, it has a set of arrows that point to the top, the top of the case. Is, is top 12 o'clock so this is always the top this is the bottom this is the pass driver passenger side this is the driver side so you're going to take the sprag and, you, and one thing i want to note too i always leave it assembled when when i install these um and you want to push down a little bit to make sure that this this, this cage that holds the springs in, this is the back of the sprag, stays in here. If this cage comes out of these uh, notches here and comes out here, the sprag will not hold. And you go through the process of putting it in, and then you'll take the inner race, and it'll spin both ways. So you got to make sure that this cage is, is locked in this cam. Okay? So that's kind of important. It, it rarely happens, but I've had a couple calls where guys did that. So if you're going to install this like I do with it assembled, um, you don't want to be slamming the case or nothing. All the spring and rollers are coming out, but they're in there pretty good. So we're going to take the arrows, and you're going to put the, um, the, the lettering in the palm of your hand. And... This bolt, is, which is where the arrows are at, are going to be at 12 o'clock. So we're just going to take the sprag. And we're going to find that 12 o'clock bolt. Let me move this up a little bit. And we're just going to get them started. And then I'm having you guys do this with a, 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 a ratchet and not an impact. And that's how I do it. Because if you use an impact or a air ratchet or anything, you're just asking for the threads to, to act up on you and, and strip out. So I, I, this is the best advice to put these bolted sprags in. You wanna make sure that you do it by hand and not with any air, air tools. So I'm gonna push this, put this down this way. Use my little block to hold the case up for me. 
and I'm going to give it some light and move the camera down a little bit so you can see this. So I'm looking inside the transmission. Let's move it a little bit more. I'll be looking at this outer cam as I'm drawing it in. And you want to evenly draw that into the case. Um, you don't you don't want to get it cocked because then it, it's going to give you give you some problems. You want to draw that in nice and even. So let me position this, and you just keep your eye on the sprag, the outer cam. Make sure it's even. What I do is I get all the bolts in there evenly. I might speed this up too for you guys. So now we made it to that first uh, receiver groove inside and I just slowly but surely keep an eye on how the spray goes on the inside. Whoop! Knuckle buster. How the spray goes. Make sure it's nice and even and it'll draw in real nice. shouldn't have got a ratchet that swivels. So as I look at this, I see it's going in pretty straight, but I'm going to work on these, bot these side bolts. Again, a little patience, guys. I cannot stress um, how much I, I tell you to not use an impact or an air ratchet. It um, You might be able to cheat and buzz them out nice and slow as I do that. But you, you want to make sure that you do it by hand. Just take your time and do it by hand. You'll thank me because if not you get a phone call I'll get a phone call. Hey, this thing stripped. So I'm going to show you we're about halfway there. Okay. I sure hope you can see this. I'm going to do it with and without the light. We're, we're about halfway there right here. Okay. My spring and rollers are still in there. My race is in there. It's going in nice and easy. So we're going to continue. one and a little bit more on this one here okay let's see how she looks she's looking real good A lot of, uh, if you read the Chrysler technical book on installing a Sprague, they, they recommend that you press it in with a press. And you have to have a pretty big press with a big throw to get down into a 727 case. And so this is for the do-it-yourselfer guy. This is not for... A professional that's got all the tools so um, I got a press here I just find it easier just to do it this way um, is the way my dad taught me 
Oh, that's the way I do it. I've been doing it this way forever, so. But I will say that the press is um, probably the technical way for you guys to do it, but how many people are gonna have presses in their garage at home? So each bolt here is snugging up on me. I'm not going real crazy with the torque. I guess you can torque wrench them if you want to get an inch pound torque wrench. I really don't have a, a setting for that. I guess you can look it up and see what a setting would be on a quarter inch wrench or a quarter inch um, bolt. But there's the sprag. It's in the case. I'm going to try and take off the camera and bring it around for you guys. Alright, as you can see, our, our bolts are all the way through. And what you want to do is you want to take your finger and run it all the way around to make sure that it can be a little lip there, that it's even all the way around. And this one feels really good. So that's um this i hate focusing this camera that's uh that we're, we're in so once we're in you could you tighten this set screw here if you want sometimes i just leave it out but this this set screw is still in there um i'm telling you to tighten it i don't have my allen wrench here so i'm just telling you guys to go ahead and tighten that up then we're going to go ahead and set the case back up. All right, sprag's in, the bolts are in. So now, um, once it's in, you can take the inner race and press on it and push it all the way up against inside of the case. And then I press in every single roller one at a time with my finger because that will push the cage flat against the inner part of the case. Then if you want, you can just make sure it rolls. Don't take the case and slam it down. All the spring and rollers are gonna come out, so don't do that. All right, let's shut this light off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take out all four bolts. See how nice and easy these are coming out now? Because we got the anti-seize on there to keep the bolts from galling up. Believe it or not, those 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 bolts, when you use an impact, they get hot. And when they get hot, especially if there's no lubricant on them, um, they start eating each other up. So do it by hand. Do not use an impact. You know, I've said it multiple times and I'm saying it again. Don't use an impact. You can go to our website and buy these drag sprags, these 16 roller bolt and sprags. They'll be on there. And also, if any of you guys get any inner races laying around in your garage, um, you probably seen from my previous videos, we're in the market of, of buying those. So there's a, a there's a, a core on those inner races. And if you guys got any, let me know, I'll buy them from you. And uh, because without the inner races, um, I would have to make them by scratch. And that would really bring up the price of the sprag. So to kind of keep them, keep them relatively inexpensive, I need those sprag races. So you take your rear support, the sprag's in, the spring and rollers are in, it's loaded. You just, you're going to put your support in. Then you're going to take your four bolts and now we're going to put the brass ferrules on. The brass ferrule just keeps the top of the, the bolt um, from rocking a little bit. That's all it really does. So put the four bolts, put them back in the case, into the sprag, and tighten them up. I'm losing all my ferrules.
there's still a little bit of anti-seize on them. They're, they're going in real nice. See that? See how nice they're going in now? You just go till they're tight. I have to get, come up with a torque spec on this. I know there's there's got to be torque spec. If you just Google the torque spec on a quarter inch, um, I, I would say it's got to be, I, I'd have to say probably 150 inch pounds is what that would be or less. Maybe, maybe 120, but I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't torque them, I'll be honest with you. Um, I just know where that sweet spot is. You know, I just know, I know I'm not stretching the bolt. I know I'm tightening it up. And All right. We'll go over them. There you go. Bolton Sprague and a 727. If you guys got any questions, leave your uh, just leave me a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions that you might ha guys might have. If you um, also down in the in the description will be a link to our website. Um, this video will be posted on our website. So if you're watching this from our website, then you can go over to YouTube and um, uh, subscribe to our channel to get more informed videos on this, uh, on, on all the Chrysler stuff that we do here at CRT. So, um, thanks uh, much for watching, guys, and Mopartuya. We'll we'll catch you on the next one.